All right, Matty, we're a week from the fight. How's your preparation been going? It's gone absolutely brilliant. Um, had eight weeks, you know, dieting properly, training properly, um, you know, giving all focus into, into this fight and winning this belt. I mean, you're no stranger to title fights. Two of your last three fights have been title fights. Unfortunately, you've uh, come off worse in both of them. Um, what's different? What's going to be different this time? Um, you know, the, f the first defeat to John Lewis Dickinson, a good John Lewis Dickinson turned up and a, a very immature and, uh, and, and bad Matty Askin turned up that night. You know, I take full credit for the fight. I just wasn't there on the night and John Lewis Dickinson boxed perfectly. Um, the, Glo the Glowacki fight in Poland... You know, after two weeks, three weeks training, it was a step too far. I shouldn't have took it in hindsight, but you know, it's, it's matured me now. It's made me realise that, you know, I need to spend more time in the gym and doing things professionally, which I've done now, and it'll it'll shine on April 20th. And sandwiched between those two title fights, you had a four rounder at the Winter Gardens. Is it going to be nice to be back there? Yeah, it's a great atmosphere and the Blackpool crowd are, are fantastic, you know, and Brian's fans, Scottish fans and my fans, they're pretty much all the same, you know, they route every one of us on, so um, it's always a great atmosphere and it's a great venue for boxing and Blackpool boxing now is booming with talent, so it, it'd be good to get a belt and, you know, let it show that I've put the hard work in. You just touched on it there, it's not often that you get people from the same town being able to buy a ticket for a night and getting to see three of their locals fighting four titles. Um, it's, a, it's a booming, like you said. It's, it's, it's madness, you know. Everyone's raving about it, and you know the, the, the town's just full of talent at the minute. The boxing's unbelievable, and so, like you say, for the Blackpool crowd to be able to have not just one of the fighters fighting for a title, but three of them, you know, and all three good fighters, it's going to be it's going to be brilliant. This this will be a third title fight. You're only 24. What's the future hold for Matty Askin? Well, I've said it in interviews, you know, if, if I come off bad on this fight, it's, it's retirement for me. I can't handle another loss. I ain't come in this game to be beat. Simple as that. You know, the, the, like I said, the dick of someone, it was, it was my fault. The Christoph one was just pure, I should, I should never have took it. Um, but, you know, come this night, come April 20th, I'm going to shine and I'm going to show everyone that, you know, the rave is, is still there and I'm, I've still got it. And the cruiserweight division isn't, is, you know, it's, it's, it's not the strongest uh, of the divisions. Is it something you feel you can dominate? And would you look past the cruiserweight division, do you think, in the future? Well, I thought that before I got beat here. <laughs> but, um, no, I, I really feel like I'm the best I've ever been, you know. Um, I think people see it in my shape and my body that I've trained hard. I really have trained hard. Um, I put my body to hell and back. Then that division is there to be taken. And I am, without a doubt, probably the most exciting boxer that's in the division at the minute, you know, I fight, I box, you know, I can hit hard, so, you know, it, it, it's brand new and it, I do think, you know, I'm only, like I say, I'm only 24, you look at 27, 28, maybe I will step up to heavyweight, but for now, uh, I'm going to take the cruiserweight. And uh, you fight at China Clark on Saturday, who uh, just recently won the uh, strap off of uh, a, a retirement win over Wadi Camacho. Um, what do you know of him? What do you know of China? He's not very experienced. No, he's not. He came into the sport late. I think he was a model uh, before he came in, which which is uh, not good for him, really, because he's not going to be wanting to be it. Um, but he's a nice guy, a really nice guy. I've known him from being 18 years old. We both trained at Brian Hughes' gym in Manchester. We a lot of rounds together. You know, he's a big, he's a big cruiserweight. Um, horrible guy, um, boxing-wise. He's uh, hard to hit. You know, I don't even think he knows what he's going to throw when he throws it. Um, but no, it's, again, it's a business, you know, we'll be friends afterwards, but when I get in there, I'm going to take his head clean off his shoulders, simple as. And you got many fans coming? Yeah, you'll see April 20th how loud that arena is. And, and uh, what about the rest of the card? Like, like we said, we've got Scotty Cardle, we've got a couple of scousers coming up as well, we've got uh, uh, the, the GB captain, Thomas Stilker. It must be, it must be uh, great rubbing shoulders with all these uh, aspiring up-and-coming fighters. Oh, it's brilliant. Um, it's, it's a star-studded boxing show, really. It's the best show that Blackpool's ever going to see. I really do believe that. You know, and hopefully every one of us gets good wins and put, put on more shows in the future. And like I say, keep getting these class boxers and these high-profile fighters on these bills. It'd be brilliant. Well, the best of luck on the night. And uh, lovely to meet you, Matty. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you.